Okay, remember there's some in. I've forgotten to do that I haven't done so far. Last I've got to make a smoker. Excellent. Like hand and glove. But I'm missing one item, but I, I think I can remember where it is. All I have to do is remember how to get back to the big house. Um, I don't know which is the quickest way to go. This looks right though. I think I'd give anything for a map button on here though. That would be pretty handy. Like once you find each location you can just travel. Just open your map and travel straight to it. But no, we've got to do things the long way. okay though because at least I'm going in the right direction here. Where's my silly... oh there it is. My silly little footstep icon wasn't coming up. You don't even really need the smoker item to finish the game, it's only an optional thing. But I thought I may as well do it. Although with all the optional things in it, what you get out of it isn't really worth the amount of effort you have to put in. No need to talk to Brent. The stupid fade to black transition-y thing. Doing my head in as well. Oh god, we've got a cutscene. Yeah, like I said earlier, I got problems with the cutscenes in this game. I I, I do most of them again so that they're okay, but I can't be bothered doing the ones with the stairs. It's only like a two second cutscene. Okay, so we're back in Judge Wargrave's room. It was about see so you no know, I c I can't do it from here. You've got to do it by here. I missed this one little little item by here. Which is a tobacco pouch. That came apart rather easily. I think this is the final thing I need now. Excellent. Well, like hand and glove. To get an unlit smoker, you can guess what I have to do to get one that's lit. Seems so obvious in retrospect. There we go. And this smoker then we can use on the bees. I'll go and do it now. I was thinking, shall I just go and talk to the, there's like one more person I have to talk to 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 make this chapter end, but Nah, I'll go and do this now.
or at least start to do it. We finally got you. Um, here's my smoker. That doesn't make sense. Well, I think I have to be looking at it from a closer view. There we go. There. The bees are now fast asleep. All quite drowsy, anyhow. Time to steal the honey. Right, we've got some honey. Can't remember if I could just use this with the glass. They don't get along. Okay, no. Something else. Um, what have we got? I'll leave that for now anyway. I don't think I need it this... I don't really need it this very second. Make our way all the way back now to the house. Like we got one more person to speak to, and then we shall let murder commence. Someone else will die then. You just keep your distance. I'm not your enemy. That's as may be, but I'm trusting no one. Did you discover anything? Perhaps I did, but I think I'll keep it to myself if you don't mind. Stay back, I'm warning you. Was that it? Let's see. Oh, no, obviously there must be more than one person to talk to. Oh god, where the hell is this? I don't remember this place. Somewhere in the maze of the garden. I'll go back this way, it's easier. Um, Pretty sure I can't talk to her. The time for talk has passed. There must be someone I've forgotten about. Probably upstairs. You know, that, that time there was no cutscene for the stairs. I wonder why it does it sometimes and not others. Hmm. Um. I don't want to go in a bathroom. Oh, we can look through the keyhole. Was the doctor freshening up a bit? Quickly, someone! Miss Brent was screaming. It sounded like it came from the apiary.
I'd better get moving. Oh well, to the apiary. Let's go. It baffles me why a woman who's got an allergy to bees would go to an apiary, though. now that I should have maybe done this bit before I did the uh, the smoking of the bees would have saved me having to go back and forth twice sometimes I forget how annoying it is to try and trek across the island horrible, horrible those welts on her face horrible way to die. Will you gentlemen carry her back to her room? I don't feel quite myself. Six little sailor boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one and then there were five. Another rhyme fulfilled. But why? Why? Surely you don't believe all that rot about her innocence. No, but she was rightfully afraid of bees. Why would she come out here of all places? Maybe Owen carried her. From the front patio? In broad daylight? How could he be certain no one would see? And it'll take both of us to carry her back. There is something no one's thought of. What if Owen has an accomplice? Chapter 6. Five little sailor boys going in for law. One got in chancery, and then there were four. One more of us acquitted. Too late. So she wasn't passed over after all. I could have told her that wasn't likely to happen. It's almost more than I can bear to stay in the house. Five gone now. Five lying in their rooms under those sheets. Cold. Forever cold now. Steady on, Vera. We can't lose our grip now. Bleak House by Charles Dickens is a scathing indictment of the Chancery Court until it was merged with the common law courts in 1873. At its worst, cases of estates and inheritances could carry on for the entire lifetimes of those involved. To get caught in Chancery Court literally might have meant one could die there. I can't help but feel that Mr. Owen has that particular fate reserved for me. My time would appear to have come. Miss Brent refused protection, at least what mortal hands could provide. Will you, Judge? Not at all. I welcome it. My days on this earth may be few at this point. All the more reason I relish every one. But it was the participants in the cases whom the Chancery Court often crushed, not the judges. An interesting point, Miss Claythorne. I'll certainly have to think that over. There is another point I'd like to make. There usually is. One of us is a murderer. Everything must be done to safeguard the four of us who are innocent. Mr. Lombard, you have a gun. I'll be damned if I'll give up my revolver. Happily, there are enough of us still alive to force the issue if necessary. Oh, very well then, since you've got it all taped out. It's in the drawer of the table by my bed. I'll get it. I'll just keep you company if you don't mind. Right, let's get talking. How are you holding up, Vera? I'll be fine as soon as Philip returns. Any idea why Miss Brent might have gone to the apiary? Even with her belief in divine intervention on her behalf, I don't see her going there of her own free will. Much obliged for your assistance, Miss Claythorne. Maybe she was just an idiot. What can we do to best protect you, Judge? We must protect each other. Miss Claythorne is right. It may be only my ego insisting I'm the next victim. Even if I am, Owen is running out of time. Your brother is certain to raise the alarm if you don't return tomorrow. That means a boat, weather providing. Owen still has much to accomplish before then. If I'm guarded, he may well pass me over. Perhaps drop his little rhyming schemes entirely.